StadiumDB.com presents Premier League Stadiums for 2023-24 season Hi! Another season of league competition is behind us. We already know all the results and we also know who will play in the richest football league in the world next season. On this occasion, the editorial team at StadiumDB.com has prepared for you a presentation of all the arenas where the English elite will play in the coming season. So, without further ado, here's an overview of the Premier League's stadiums, which we've ranked according to the places their host occupied in the league at the end of the previous season. And we'll start with the venues of the newcomers. 20th place Kenilworth Road, capacity 10,073, Luton Town FC. The club made the most of its big chance to play in the Premier League by beating Coventry City in the final of the playoffs. The local venue has been home to the club since 1905, and although locals are proud of it, it is already an aging structure. Very good progress is now being made on a new arena for Luton and the club has released new renderings of the planned Power Court Stadium in the heart of Luton Town Centre, just by the railway station. 19th place Bramwell Lane Capacity 32,050 Sheffield United The stadium of another newcomer has a very long and storied history dating back to the mid-19th century. Bramwell Lane is one of two stadiums, the other being the Oval, to have hosted England international football matches, five matches before 1930, an England Test cricket match in 1902 against Australia and an FA Cup final, a 1912 rematch in which Barnsley beat West Bromwich Albion 1-0. In 2022 it hosted the UEFA Women's Euro matches. 18th place, Turf Moor, capacity 21,944, Burnley. Time for a championship winner's venue. Turf Moor's history also dates back to the 19th century, and the Burnley home is the second longest continuously used stadium in English professional football. The venue has undergone a number of renovations in recent years. In 2014, the player's tunnel was relocated to a corner between the James Hargreaves and cricket field stands. In 2016, a new club shop was built between the Jimmy McElroy and Bob Lord stands. Two corner stands were also built for disabled home supporters. In 2021, digital signing and large LED screens were installed. 17th place Kudersen Park Capacity 39,572 Everton The decision to move to Goodison was made by Everton after failing to stay permanently at Anfield, where they played for eight years. A major challenge came in the post-Hillsborough era as three parts of the ground had terracing and needed conversion. The first one simply had the seats installed, another one got its lower tier redeveloped while the last one, the Southern, was simply demolished and rebuilt as a single tier end in 1994. Goodison Park hosted more top-flight matches than any other venue in England. Construction of the club's new facility for 52,888 fans at Bramley Moodog started in August 2021. The goal is to open the new ground for the 2024-25 season, after that, Goodison Park will be demolished. 16th place City Ground Capacity 30,445 Nottingham Forest When Nottingham Forest moved several hundred yards away from their first stadium in 1898, the club was already 33 years old. The city received its charter just a year earlier. To celebrate that occasion, the venue has been called the city ground from the very beginning. Major revamps came in the 1960s. First, in 1965, a new main stand was erected. But sadly, on August 24, 1968, 
A fire broke out during the Forest Leeds United fixture. Thankfully, there were no casualties. In 1967, a new East Stand was erected, and the first game after the reopening of the venue had the highest attendance to date, with 49,946 watching the Forest beat Manchester United. 15th place Vitality Stadium Capacity 11,307 AFC Bournemouth Stadium was built in 1910 on lands donated by the Cooper Dean family. To honor them, it was named Dean Court. Dean Court lost its form in 2001 due to complete revamp. The pitch was rotated by 90 degrees and slightly moved away from the nearby houses. Three new stands were built and the open space on the south side was later filled with a temporary stand. Record attendance was set in 1957 when 28,799 people watched AFC Bournemouth play Manchester United in the FA Cup. 14th place London Stadium Capacity 62,500 West Ham United the venue was built for the London Olympics in 2012. In order to meet the needs of West Ham, in 2014 its reconstruction started. As a part of it, a new roof was created, the largest of its kind in the world, as well as new demountable lower stands. All this was done so that the football season and summer athletics competitions could be held without scheduling conflicts. In August 2016, the Hammers debuted at the stadium. From 2020, only cashless transactions can be made at the facility. Two years ago, the ground received new LED lighting system. Reconfiguration of the stands behind goals was also completed. This summer, the Diamond League meeting will return to London Stadium. 13th place, Molyneux Stadium. Capacity 31,700 Wolverhampton Wanderers Name of the stadium comes from the Molyneux family that was one of the first owners of the land on which it was built. In 1932 the venue obtained four stands that served Wanderers for the next half a century. The biggest changes happened in the 90s. From October 1991 to December 1993 all stands were completely reconstructed. In 2011, the revamp of the Stan Kelly stand was started as the first stage of the planned reconstruction. It was completed for the 2012-13 season, but further phases never came. For now, the club has put off plans to expand the stadium to 50,000, only introducing minor changes like safe standing. 12th place Stamford Bridge, capacity 40,341, Chelsea FC. The venue opened in 1877, but for the first few decades it was used for athletics competitions. It wasn't until 1905 that the owner of the ground formed Chelsea FC after Fulham refused to play at the stadium. In the decades that followed, the facility underwent many changes, one of which, in the 1970s, almost led to the club's collapse. A new East Stand was built after that, but its costs were growing at an alarming pace and not only was it not enough to finance remaining stands, but it put the club on the brink of bankruptcy. Only in 90s, after the Taylor report, the athletics track was removed adding new stands or tiers on each side. For years, there has been talk of the need for a major upgrade of Stamford Bridge or the construction of a new stadium for Chelsea in a different location. 11th place, Selhurst Park. Capacity, 25,486. Crystal Palace. From a bird's eye view, you can clearly see the classic division into four independent stands creating an asymmetrical stadium. Like most British grounds, it has undergone many renovations throughout its history. Last major changes took place in 1994, where Homesdale Terrace was demolished. 
and replaced with a two-tier stand. At the same time, a new roof was installed on the main stand. Club's plan for the near future assumed the expansion of the stadium by over 8,000 seats. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. We'd also appreciate it if you like this video and leave a comment below. 10th place Craven Cottage Capacity 29,600 Fulham FC First ever game with admission fees was played here in 1896. This venue, located on the Dams Riverside, underwent quite a few revamps throughout its history. The arena was designed in the 20th century by Britain's most famous sports architect, Archibald Leach. The facade of the main stand made of red brick is a valuable monument of stadium architecture. The new main stand on the river side should finally be fully opened to fans this season. The seven-story high structure, one underground, will raise the stadium's capacity to almost 30,000 seats. Ninth place Gutek Community Stadium Capacity 17,250 Brentford FC The stadium opened in August 2020 and construction took less than three and a half years. The shape of the stadium resembles a hexagon. It's because it was a real challenge to fit a venue on a triangular-shaped plot. Auditorium has single-tier stands. Their form is irregular but provides optimal visibility from anywhere around the stadium. 8th place Tottenham Hotspur Stadium Capacity 62,850 Tottenham Spurs' new home is one of the most modern facilities in the world. It's been built in four years and now it's the second largest ground in the Premier League. Among many design solutions, it's worth mentioning retractable pitch which can be folded and hidden under the south stand for non-football events. The South Stand is the second-largest single-tier one in the UK, with 17,500 seats, though it's not perfectly single. Tottenham plans to build skyscrapers around the stadium, with nearly 1,000 apartments. This is expected to improve the club's financial situation in the long run. 7th place Villa Park Capacity 42,657 Aston Villa It's been Aston Villa's home since 1897. The club bought it in 1911. Over the years, the facility has undergone as many as 10 redevelopments. The largest modernization works took place in the 90s, where the ground had to be reconstructed after the Hillsborough tragedy. In 1992-94, a new north stand was created and the largest, a three-tier one, West Stand was opened in 2001. It's the only stadium in England that has hosted international matches in three different centuries. The first game of the England national team was held here in 1899 and the last one in 2005. In Birmingham, they are trying to build a new stand which would increase the venue's total capacity to more than 50,000 spectators. It is planned that the expansion would take place between 2023 and 2025. Sixth place Amex Stadium Capacity 31,780 Brighton and Hove Albion Construction of the stadium started in 2009 and was preceded by many disputes. Before it could happen, the Seagulls had to move to Gillingham, 75 kilometers away. Before the start of 2012-13 season, 5,000 seats were added, creating a second tier of the East Stand and closing corners of the South Stand. In early 2013, Brighton and Hove Albion added a further 3,000 seats to increase the capacity to 30,500. Since 2020, it's no longer possible to pay in cash at the stadium. Fifth place Anfield, capacity 61,000. Liverpool FC. Liverpool moved to Anfield in 1892. 
Significant changes to the stadium took place in the late 1990s when the stands were rebuilt and the layout changed to seating only. Between 2014 and 2016, the home of Liverpool underwent its biggest partial redevelopment to date. The West Grand Stand expanded from one to three storeys. A new North Stand on the Anfield Road side is due to be ready for the new season, which will now accommodate 16,000 spectators. With these upgrades, the venue will surpass the magic 60,000-seat mark. Fourth place, St. James's Park. Capacity, 52,305. Newcastle United. The oldest existing stadium in the northeast of England and one of the most iconic football venues in the world. Newcastle United has been host here since 1892. The ground owes its unusual shape to local spatial constraints. In the 90s, it proved impossible to build a new stadium 200 meters away, so the club decided to rebuild it. Another tier was added above two existing stands, making this part of the stadium much grander than the other ones, where there was no room for expansion. As a result, the largest externally supported roof in Europe was created. Third place, Old Trafford. Capacity 74,310, Manchester United. It's known as the Theatre of Dreams. The term was coined by Sir Bobby Charlton. It is currently the largest stadium in the Premier League. In England, only Twickenham and Wembley have a greater capacity than Old Trafford. Steep angle at which the roof is tilted towards the pitch is one of the most recognizable features of this ground. The last major expansion took place between 2005 and 6, when two brand new facilities were fitted under the northern corners of the stands. Since 2005, 100 million pounds has been invested in the stadium. It's long been planned to expand the capacity beyond 80,000 if the southern part of the stadium is successfully expanded. Old Trafford is in an increasingly deteriorating state and urgently needs the necessary upgrades, but this will already be taken care of by the club's new owners. Second place, Emirates Stadium, capacity 60,704, Arsenal FC. When opened in 2006, it was the second largest football ground in the Premier League and the third largest in England. Its construction was completed in just over two years. It was originally called Ashburton Grove after the name of the street it was built on. The major airline owns naming rights to the venue until 2028. The whole auditorium was divided into four tiers. The middle two, with the smallest capacity, are intended to serve business clients. The Arsenal Stadium is one of the best venues in the world in terms of generating match day profits. It is also environmentally friendly. Batteries capable of storing 3 megawatts were installed in the basement of the facility. They provide enough energy to power Emirates Stadium for two hours during a match. First place, Etihad Stadium. Capacity 53,400. Manchester City. The facility was built to host the 2002 Commonwealth Games. New stands were created right after that competition. Instead of a temporary stand behind one of the goals, a permanent structure was built, identical to the one on the other side of the playing field. Athletics track was removed and the playing field lowered. In 2014-2015, the stadium underwent the first expansion since it was taken over by the citizens. A third tier was added to the south stand with over 6,000 seats. In March 2021, Manchester City announced the removal of approximately 1,100 seats from the first three rows of the north, east and south stands. Seats were replaced by digital display panels. The club has a plan ready to expand the north stand so that the total capacity of the stadium could be 60,000.
And that's the final venue in our 2023-24 Premier League Stadium Overview. Which one do you like best? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned as we're already preparing our next stadium coverage for you. Until then, 